Okay, for today's video, we're just going to have a really quick video talking about um, why I love what Collect A has announced for the first three figures um, for their 2022, or I guess actually it would be their 2022, either their 2022 or their 2023 line, their upcoming line. Um, the first three figures they announced, um, I thought were great. And, and I honestly debated on even making this video, but I just want to give a big shout out to Collect A because I think they did awesome on these first three figures. Um... Uh, Currently, this is the only Collect A figure I own, but I definitely plan on getting more in the future. Um, I just haven't got around to getting more, but this is one of my favorite figures in my collection, um, even though it is the only Collect A figure I currently own. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So I'll insert images of all the figures at the end of the video, but um, I haven't found a good way to insert pictures and talk over them yet, but I'm working on it. But I did want to get this video out, so um, I guess it's better than not getting the video at all. Um, because I did think about not even making this video, but I did, I thought it was such an amazing start that I thought I should. And I think Collect A is going to announce more prehistoric figures, but these are just the three that we've seen so far. Um, uh, so first we've got a Triceratops, and this is pretty much the same, like, look as their one from last year. But I think the one from last year was a deluxe one, but the one from, um, the one this year is not deluxe. So it's pretty much just a smaller version in a different pose, um. I've, this is definitely one that got the most negative um, feedback, I would say, but I like the figure. And, you know, if you're not collecting the deluxe figures, then I think it is a nice figure to get. Uh, and then we got the Hadrosaurus, which is a dinosaur that I think is great for them to produce because it's a dinosaur that I think a bunch of people know, maybe not. Um, I've known about it, but um, there's not been, I don't believe, any figures, maybe like some figures, but not by any like the bigger brands, I believe, like Safari or um, PNSO or Collect A. None of those types of brands have made a Hadrosaurus. Now, obviously, the genus or whatever, um, Hadrosaurus have a ton of figures, but Hadrosaurus, the dinosaur, um, I mean, Hadrosaurus, the genus, doesn't have a ton of figures, but the group Hadrosaurus do have a ton of figures, but the genus Hadrosaurus does not. So I definitely thought it was a cool figure. And then we got a crazy new dinosaur. I'm not even for sure I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but it's Ceratosuchops, or Ceratosuchops. Um, it's a Spinosaurid, um, believed right now to be closer related to, like, Suchomimus. Um, and it's super recently found, like, um, like the Hadrosaurus that I just mentioned, like the dinosaur that we've known about for probably over 100 years now. But um, Ceratosuchops is a dinosaur that we just discovered last year. So it's awesome that Collect is already working on figures of animals that are this new to the public. So, um, I think that's it for this video. Um, I'll insert those images of all three figures. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great start for Collect Day for this year, upcoming year. And I definitely plan on picking up some of these figures. And I will say that Hadrosaurus, Hadrosaurus was a dinosaur I had on my list of, um, figures of dinosaurs that I wanted to see figures of in the future. So I'm definitely glad to see Collect Day be the company to tackle it first.